Beverly Reynolds here coming at you with a question of the episode and that is what is online training or OT? I'm going to give you five characteristics of online training. Number one, first of all, what is this beast of a thing? It is a sequential grouping of lessons or modules. These lessons or modules typically teach users how to do something, how to complete a task, how to use a piece of software, how to use an instrument. Online training can be used to teach anybody, any process, procedure, software application. Really, the world is endless. I've even seen computer-based training courses or online training modules be used to teach people about health, wellness, and fitness. So, number one, it's a sequence of, or a grouping of lessons or courses. Number two, your training can be role-based. You can say, hey, I want a set of training for this role or this type of person or this individual or this persona. So it's role-based. Number three, online training allows you to track student progress. So a lot of times you're gonna have a portal or what's called an LMS or learning management system that is going to allow you to track the progress of the students. In other words, how many students are taking your training? How far do they make in each course? How many of these students are in this course versus that course? How many of them even completed any given course that you may have in your suite of training courseware? Number four, let's talk just briefly about the terminology that are used for the people taking your courseware, your training, your e-learning, your education. You've got users, students, learners. Users, students, learners. All of these phrases can also be used interchangeably, one for the other and vice versa. And the fifth aspect of training, you're gonna hear a whole lot of acronyms that are gonna be thrown at you. SM, TM, EM, show me, try me, evaluate me. You wanna make sure that through any course that you create, no matter what style of training that you create, you wanna show users a process. You wanna give them an avenue for them to try that process. Sometimes that's through a simulation. Captivate, Lectora, those are just a few of the instances of software packages that allow you to create a simulation to where users can feel like they're in that setting, that environment, and they can try that piece of functionality, that process for themselves or you've got EM or evaluate me. In other words, you can offer up your training, tr users can click through, they can go through a forced path, they can kind of jump around, and then there can be an evaluation at the end. So that you and the learner, the user, the e-learning person who's taking your course can see where they are in the gauging of their understanding of your courseware and your content. Be right back, guys.